Hello friends, welcome back to my new lecture on introduction to Windows programming. So today I am discussing about Windows programming in csharp.net. So basically there are two types of the programming, uh, uh, Windows programming and console based programming. So uh, we have already discussed about the console based programming and uh, now uh, in this lecture I am discussing about the Windows uh, programming. So uh, in this program you can see here we have namespace Windows and uh, the program will be windows.cs uh, and uh, this is the base class and we have to create form uh, inside the uh, namespace in case of the console programming we have to write here public class class 1 and while in case of the windows programming we will write here public class form 1 united by the form base class and uh, inside this form class we have been this form constructor and this is the tags we have mentioned here the tags inside this uh, uh, form constructor and we have uh, main also and main you can see here uh, we are creating the object of this form class win form is the object of this form class and equals to new form and when we will write here application dot run this will be the execution of this uh, constructor so application dot run win form, win form so we are running the object of uh, this win form as we are as we are uh, running this win form it will execute its constructor form one and simply this message will be displayed on the frame so you can see here this is the frame uh, and, and this one and the message simple windows application so it will be displayed here simple simple windows application so output generated from windows application again you can see here we have mentioned here text this text is simple windows application and um, as we will write here application dot run first of all we have created the object of this form one win form equals to new form and we are running this win form application dot run win form as we will uh, execute this constructor uh, start the process start the process loop so it will execute the constructor first of all it will execute its constructor constructor is already uh, automatically executed when we will uh, write the constructor we will uh, initiate the object so it will execute and it will um, change the message simple windows application so you can see here simple windows application is the message so when window based form this is window based form output generated form um, windows application uh, you can see here this windows application and uh, when you will uh, when we will start the program uh, rather than uh, clicking on console application we have to select uh, this uh, windows application here we have console application so we are uh, we are not going for the console application here we are using this windows application so we have to select visual c -SAR select the file new project uh, select the new new project and then we will have this window and here we will select visual c sharp and inside visual c sharp we have to select windows application and then we will write the name of uh, the class um, first windows is the name and uh, we can browse it uh, this one also uh, so uh, you can see here in this uh, slide so uh, we have to select this window application and accordingly we have to select the file name and we can browse here also we can location we can uh, provide the location where to store this file mm -hmm. uh, we can browse this location here so uh, this is the uh, main window when we will select the window application and after selecting the window application we have this IT integrated we can say it integrated development environment so we will have this uh, uh, design window as, as well as we have a start window and uh, we have also um, the code window also so uh, you can see here this is the um, panel of toolbox we have been all the toolbox here uh, it is marked by this toolbox and uh, switch between design and code window and when we will click on this uh, button then it will convert it into code window and again it will convert it into design window so it will switch design and code window switch between design and code view using view menu and this is a start page and 
this is design view also and this is property suppose we have um, dragged here some button also um, here in this uh, design window so it will show the property or design uh, sorry button suppose we have uh, we have drawn a checkbox here so it will show all the property of the checkbox so this is property window we have been different property so this time it will show the property of form so in this lecture i am describing you the form all the different property of form so it will display the four color four color of the form form border style right to left and right to left layout of the form so different properties of this form we have been here so this is property window and same time we have also solution explorer so when we will click on this tab then it will show that solution explorer and in solution explorer it will show the name of file and name of uh, references whatever the reference we are providing here so it will display all the references so this is the application now this is pushing button and uh, uh, by this pushing button you can expand it and uh, uh, accordingly so uh, you can see here design window as well as form window this is first one is the code window and this is design window design is written in front of this uh, form one dot cs and uh, we can see here this property window uh, we have been this property window. when we will click then it will show the um, solution explorer when we will click on this property then it will show the property dynamic help also there so we have been this these three so we have to understand this uh, complete window and this is called id integrated development environment and we have been different type of uh, you can see here different category of tools all the windows form and uh, different category uh, when we will press on this uh, dash then we will have uh, an, another different category and we can scroll this uh, uh, toolbox up and down so uh, this is also called dockable window so and we have been this these are the menu we can take help of these menus also and after writing the program we will execute by clicking on this start button and this is the windows form and uh, windows form uh, there are some uh, important point regarding this windows form extensive collection of the control classes so it has been different classes control classes you can see here suppose we have been formed then we will have uh, form class inside this form dot form one dot cs and uh, top level window for the application called form so it is top level window this is form this is top level window and inside this window we will have all the component inside this window and uh, we may be some sub window inside this form one now the third point each control has large collection of property so i have already uh, explained you so each control control means each form having the different um, component we have seen these all these component all these tools and we can put all these tools or uh, different tools uh, according to requirement on this form and uh, um, finally you can see here select the property from the alphabet rise list properties window and change the property by clicking the box and selecting typing and the new entry so we have been this uh, these the properties window and we can change these property suppose we have clicked on um, this property we will have true suppose we want to true it then we will have to select the true and accordingly we can change their value suppose we have been uh, the caption button of any um, button uh, tool then we can change the caption accordingly so uh, file name also we can change form name we can also change the name uh, by default it's form one so we can change its name suppose we have we are creating the admission form then we can write here admission.cs so we can ma update manipulate anything uh, by this properties window so these are the benefit of these uh, properties um, uh, form properties so we have different property and we can Mm, display the property in alphabetical order you can see here if we will click on a to z then it will display all the properties in alphabetic list so you can see here b c d e f f e h i j k l so it is according to alphabetic order and we can categorize them so the first button is the categorize so we can categorize the property uh, according to different properties and these are the different property so location we can write here location where to display the form so these are the different form property property value their value and the name of property is this and its value is this 
and event also we have been event of uh, in the particular form suppose we have been form one so inside the form one suppose we have different form event so we can mention the event also there so this event button uh, by this button we can uh, put the event also so these are the some properties uh, i have extended expanded these property auto scroll automatically scroll uh, or vertical and horizontal scroll will we can put here back color of the form font of the form four color of the form location change the x coordinate and y coordinate by 0 0 to 30 30 suppose we have to change 50 50 then it will it, it size will be uh, changed accordingly and minimize box selected false so we can put this minimize back box or not size we can change the size of x coordinate y coordinate by this this uh, by the x1 y1 and x2 y2 coordinate and start position tag so we can write here first window application so this is the tag which can put here suppose we have to change here though accordingly it will change so you can see here first um, property window so uh, it can it will be displayed here so these are the tags of this form so we have different form event also so you can see here the list of form event so key up key down layout leave load uh, location change um, maximize bond change ma maximum size change so we have been different events so when we will click on the event button uh, this is event this is sorry this is event button so we'll have this uh, event button so as we will select this event button so accordingly it will display the different event also so this is the event somehow this arrow is um, wrongly showing this one so this is event button so these are the different events uh, add a code response to event like button click and form the prop properties window select that lighting bolt double click on the event name and generate the code to register event bring the interest so accordingly we can have different events and we have suppose we have closing event so you can see here this closing event so this is the uh, program this is the piece of program which can be written with the event so uh, as we have already explained you event handling in uh, csharp.net with help of the delegate we can use event handling and here we have assignment operator this dot closing closing is event so this is the object of the same class this dot closing equals to this dot closing plus new system dot component model dot cancel event handler this dot closing so this is the closing event private void form one underscore closing and object sender system dot component model dot cancel event argse and message box dot so we can show the message box we can display the message box here um, so this is the uh, form event and you can see here we can expand here the, this is the view of solution explorer i have already explained you the solution explorer is in the left side of this window uh, it is uh, here we have property window we have solution explorer we have dynamic help so when we will click on the solution explorer it will display the list of all the files so see in this program we have been this solution explorer we have selected the solution explorer it, it has the form one dot cs program dot cs uh, we have been different differences we have been different properties so it will display all the list of a particular project which is related to the particular project so we will expand form one dot cs node and reveal the form one designer dot cs file so we can expect it also and accordingly it will display all the uh, files and references of a particular uh, project and uh, same time we can click properties of particular component and dynamic help we can also uh, uh, will also have so this, these are the all uh, uh, events properties and solution explorer everything uh, regarding the form so in next class we will discuss uh, particularly on the um, uh, different component of the windows programming so hope you understand this lecture so thank you guys thank you very much